Medical students coming to the Old Pueblo will choose to become pharmacists, dentists, and then we living in an urban community will find that specialty care we need. But federal health data trackers tell us more than 3.3 million Arizonans live in a community where there aren't enough medical professionals to meet their needs. The school's newest health education center hopes to bridge that gap for future pros to then build a home and a career at places like Gila, Graham, and Greenlee counties. Let's look at this U of A map for area health education centers. Starting July 1st, the new Center for Excellence in Rural Education, CERE, will serve patients covering the area in orange. In 12 months time, the program reports thousands of future dentists, pharmacists, and other trainees studying at University Health Sciences have spent time caring for people in our state's medically underserved communities. Those folks, those graduates, have become our best field faculty, our best preceptors to help other students who are considering a, a career and a practice in a, in a small town. Dr. Dan Dirksen carried that experience from early in his career. A veteran family physician and the Arizona Health Education Center's principal investigator, Dirksen tells me past programs he's helped lead have seen their investments pay off. Early data from that um, is about 80% of the graduates that go through residency in teaching health centers end up staying in primary care and more than half end up practicing in, in a federally designated health professional shortage areas. Dirksen points out jobs often crop up when a primary care or specialist physician opens a practice. He also observes tribal communities in particular put more trust in the travel nurses and doctors who treat the families in person. Growing a program like this could inspire children in these often more rural communities to become the next healthcare leaders. But we can't just train people in Phoenix and Tucson anymore. We have to balance that training with training in rural sites so you're better prepared to go out. And hopefully we're, we're training individuals from the community that really want to go back and practice there. Jose Sosaya, Kega 9, on your side.